There is so many lessons about walking. It's difficult to put words on those lessons because all those lessons are given to me by feeling, by experience, by sweat. This is this connection, this really organic connection with the land. Mm -hmm. Because we are all the same. That's why I discover. I've been everywhere in the world, basically. I saw humans in all those ash environments. They all want to have food, be safe, their family have a roof on the top of the head, and that's it. So when I walk like that for six months, I reach a point, you know, where I'm like this little ice cube, and the ice cube melts. Yeah. And you become nature. You lose your identity of yourself. Mm -hmm. There is no thinking anymore. That's the most asked question. What do you think when you walk? I do not think. That's gone, long gone. You just breathe with the rest of every little surface possible, the sand, the wind, everything. What did it feel like when, at the end of your journey, you see that tree, that's kind of your ending point. Yeah. What does it feel like to take the last steps of such a long journey? It's complicated. You keep walking and you see the tree getting closer, but at the same time you want to stop because it's been my life for three years. You don't want that to hand, but it has to hand because that was my goal, my tree. And finally it's over. And it's really not a happy moment. It's a mix of sadness, a big accomplishment, but it's an accomplishment between you and you. It's really an inner journey. Now it's been one year I come back from the surviving expedition and I'm still having this trauma. I'm still waking up at night and open my fridge to see if there is food in it. I've been so starving. So the same thing, it takes time to go over this strong feeling, a strong emotion. Then months passed and then six months later I realized that I actually made it. Everything takes time. There is no such a thing as a rushing process.